Hi, I'm Todd Heitkamp, the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's Two Minute Fishing Report. Well, folks, the weather definitely has made it quite a bit tougher for a lot of us to get out this past week, but uh, one good thing is that we got the needed rainfall that many of us have been hoping and praying for uh, all this spring, so that's the good thing. But the wind really has made it tough to get out there to, to hit the lakes, but uh, some of the guys that have gone out have had some decent success. Uh, up in the northeastern part of the state, uh, lakes that have been doing pretty well include uh, Bitter and Wabane. Quite honestly, Bitter's been pretty hot lately. Guys are coming away with some nice quality fish there. Uh, also, Opus has been doing really well, but the main thing there is you have to sort quite a bit to find those 15 inchers. Uh, Reeds, Swan, and as well as Indian Springs and Dry Lake by Clark have all been producing fish. You just have to move around to find those active fish. In the southeastern part of the state, uh, guys really have been hitting some a lot of the same lakes that we talked about this past week and success has been mixed uh, to say the least. Dry Lake by Willow Lake continues to do well. Uh, casting plugs or pulling the uh, plugs along the weed edge it seems to be the, the best success there. Uh, Thompson as well as uh, Madison, Oakwood, Ponset, uh, Twin Lake, the Trophy Lakes have all been producing some nice fish depending on the day. Uh, Henry by Thompson has slowed quite a bit but it seems like it's more of a morning bite than any uh, time throughout the day. And then also 81 Ponds and Sinai have also been producing a few fish there. The Missouri River continues to you know, produce fish, uh, mainly from the boats. It seems like the spawn is pretty much uh, tapered off uh, considerably. Uh, day by day, the shore bite has gotten a little bit more tough uh, to catch that quality fish. But guys have been doing pretty well uh, out in the boats, whether or not they're uh, pulling plugs, pulling spinners. Guys are coming away with some nice fish out there. And as I mentioned last week, folks, uh, the crappie bite's really taken off, but it uh, has really kind of tapered off a little bit uh, this week, mainly due to the weather. Uh, guys are still catching some nice crappies on Thompson, Pickerel, Reeds, uh, and also a few uh, being caught at Scott Slough, uh, Vermilion, as well as Ponson. Uh, so a guy, you, again, you move around quite a bit to find those active fish. And what have they been using? You know, small jigs, minnows, small pieces of crawler, and also the shiny hiding, and we have all of that right here at the store. And now, folks, it's time to take a look at a few photos from this past week. Thanks so much folks for sending your photos. I, it's something I look forward to each week, especially all the photos of the kids and their catches. And to see the smiles on their face definitely brings a smile to mine. So, so keep sending me your photos. And if you'd like to be met, uh, entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate, send me your photos, send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com or post it to our Facebook wall. And one thing I want to leave you with this week is that uh, a lot of people have been talking about the Rappel of BX Minnows uh, based upon the la latest uh, in-depth outdoor show. Folks, we have plenty of them on hand. Stop on by here in the store, take a look at our great selection of the BX Minnows and talk to us about how to use it. Plus, speaking of Rapplas, we, the promotion was so great we decided to bring it back. You buy five Rapplas of any sort, any combination, you'll get a free t-shirt. Again, five Rapplas of any kind, you'll get a free t-shirt only here at Dakota Angler. So stop on by here at the store. Well, folks, that's this week's Two Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner, Todd Heitkamp, and as we say around here, fish on. We'll see you next time. And again, thank you so much for watching.